Hello, everyone. Okay. Coming on here live. Say hello if you're here. If you're watching this after, say hello anyway. <laughs> so my name is Li Ying. If you don't know me, I am a tea ceremony alchemist, a mystic and your sacred way a mentor <laughs> this is what i love to say but really who am i who am i who am i who am i and this is the real reason i really wanted to uh, pop on here because i just wanted to say how is it like to envision your success and the question of if I am not my thoughts, who am I, kind of came up for me. And in this 3D world, we are always asked to define ourselves, especially in the world that we are in. You know, who are you? What do you do? All of these questions really are very common. And in fact, even for, for people who are very much aware of that, these, que these questions still come up when they are in the world. And I just find it so fascinating because even though we are here, I believe if you're here, you're consciously, in, you know, um, accelerating, expanding and uh, really up-leveling your consciousness. But somehow when we move back into the world, there is this sense of like, oh, I have to act just like them. And for me, um, it's come to... A place where I feel like that's not okay that's not acceptable why do we have to perform a certain role and perform in a way just so that we could feel that we're being accepted because ultimately whatever fear that we have um, about going forward to show up authentically is ultimately a fear of rejection you know it, it stems from so many things it stems from our memories of being rejected our memories of loving and being rejected even in childhood or as a as an adult or even just ancestral wounding um and all of those um really deep deep core and carvings I don't even know if that's the word, <laughs> but basically that are etched into us that we're not even aware of. It's a, it's a real fear. It's a real fear of rejection that causes us not to show up fully. Um, and that's not okay. Um, that's really something I really wanted to pop on here and say that's not okay. And even for me to say that right now, I feel a contraction in my body. Like the fear of being rejected is so strong especially especially now i just feel the energy so much like whenever we speak our minds we feel <gasps> we sort of feel like the the natural need to hold back because we fear what other people would think of us once we express ourselves authentically and especially in the field if you're doing a work that you're passionate about and you're putting your heart and soul into it and you're actually putting your heart and soul to show the world and share with the world you know rejection can feel really painful and i've been there and i know exactly how it feels like and i want to hold you with so much compassion if you're feeling that or have felt that before um so i have been really thinking about the 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 meaning of authenticity, the meaning of belonging. And you know if if you're one of these people, please comment, let me know. Are you somebody who's really, really good at acting, like really, really good at taking action, like going out there, doing the work, pushing, 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 you know, really putting yourself fully out there to to snap up any opportunities that are for collaboration, for for making things happen. I think that word is. Are you that person? Or are you the one who's really good at really incubating, like just sitting in emptiness to to create, to, to have something come up inside of you, ideas, you know, inspiration, creation, all of these things. Um, they're just swirling in you and and you're very comfortable sitting in 
really the unknown, like at the very, very precipice of reality, of, of birthing something into reality, is that you. And I just wanted to say that, you know, there is no either or, there is no um, being somebody who's really, really good at incubating or somebody who's really good at acting. You can be both, but the comfort level of whichever one that you sit in is always indicative of um, the stage where you're in and what it is that you're sort of, you know, the what we call the energy circuit in your body is kind of dimmed. So imagine the circuit of lights, right? It's like a city where you can see all the grid, grids of lights and there's a certain part that is dimmed or completely off. So... This is the reason why I love talking about energy because all of us are made of energy. If it feels a bit woo-woo to you, um, I would encourage you to just listen and see how that feels for you because innately you would find that it's, it totally makes sense. And in fact, if you're a very scientific person, it is proven that we are all made of energy. We're just compressed matter. And if you think of it in that in that sense, on that level, you know, can you imagine what we can achieve if we truly embrace ourselves as energetic beings, as energy? Just really let that sink in a little bit. Because if you knew that you were made of energy, if you knew that you could focus and funnel this energy to make it work for you, can you kind of grasp Can you feel into what sort of possibilities, the limitless possibilities that are ready for you, that is out there for you? And hello everyone who's just joining us. I'm just so glad that you're here. I really wanted to pop on here to share and to talk a little bit about something that's just on my mind. You know, um, manifestation is something I see popping up a lot, especially these days. Um, There has definitely been a lot of upgrading in the idea of manifestation and if you haven't seen it yet I have a course that I have really created with so much heart and real passion called The Void and it takes eight weeks for us to be immersed in this beautiful space because I really 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 felt really guided to to share this experience of being in the void and the void is where you incubate and it almost feels like it's like the magic dark it's like nothing is happening i've done all the work i put in all the systems i've read all the books i've even invested in myself on doing the work to create what i really think i want to create but nothing seems to be moving nothing seems to be working what the hell is happening right that is the void And a lot of people, unfortunately, for me at least, that's how I feel, is that a lot of people come to this space and they think that that is a failure. They see it as failure, they see it as a sign that it's not meant to happen, and so they give up. And because you have that thought um, of just kind of avoiding, you know, avoiding the lessons that you're meant to learn in the void, it just keeps happening. Like all the things that you just, you see as really not serving you keeps happening. And you're like, why the hell does this keep happening to me? Like, why is this happening? Like, that's because you haven't really, really presented yourself fully in the face of the lesson that the universe has presented to you. And that's why it keeps happening to you until you really get it. And when it does, I think you would have to thank the universe because it must be something that you signed up for. It must have been something that you have created in order for you to really up-level. So once you get it, your entire life will shift. That is why it keeps presenting itself to you. So this is my next question. How much effort are you putting into avoiding fear right let me let me let me just repeat that how much how much effort are you putting into avoiding fear because if you're putting effort at all in avoiding fear from coming up in your life at all like just avoiding generally just trying to to avert it 
you're focusing a lot of your energy on what you really don't want. And as we all know, what we focus on, energy flows to that. And you being where you are, avoiding the fear that you don't want to create in your life. You're just like, oh, I'm going to sit here so that I don't see it. I'm just going to stand here so that I don't see it. That is you avoiding fear. And when you do that, you're actually focusing on what you really don't want in your life. I just really want to bring that up, call it out as it is, because a lot of us think that fear is something that's bad, fear is something that should be avoided, but fear is really just that butterfly feeling in the stomach, that that sensation of like, you know, how the horses at the horse race right before the gates open and they are going to charge full on. That is an amazing feeling because that is the catalyst that's just going to propel you forward. And if you are able to sit with the fear, if you're able to disintegrate it and see it as what it is, that is the journey that you will take from the void and into ultimate creation. And that is when you ascend. Because like I I tell a lot of my clients is that, you know, when you're in that fear, you're actually just expanding and contracting, expanding and contracting expanding and contracting you're never going to go back into a smaller version of yourself as with the universe we are moving with the pulse of the universe we're always constantly expanding so whether you're expanding with grace and ease or whether you're expanding with all the hit and runs that you get it's like oh my god that just happened to me i don't know why but like oh my god like why 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 did i do this like why Or you expand with the grace and the ease of knowing that it happens because it's the natural flow of the universe. It will be, it will make a huge difference. Like your entire life will be changed. And that's why I really am so excited about really sharing this with all of you um, tomorrow in a free mastermind that I'm hosting called Authenticity and Belonging. It's at 8 p.m. UK time. This is where I really want to explore the idea of what really authenticity means and why is there so much resistance to being authentic and what belonging means to us. You know, um, we, we talk a lot about that uh, in the beholding of the Tao, you know, what is it to be flowing with the Tao when we talk about the Tao, which is the way um, which manifests in the nature, in everything around us, really, you know, natural or not natural. Um, so anyway, that is exactly what I wanted to, to, to invite you to, if it's something that feels aligned. If not, um, absolutely fine. I am very, very excited because the work that we're going to do in the void when we start in October is all about really reaching, giving you the courage to reach for your goals, to reach for your dreams, even though you don't really feel like it is meant for you. Um, you will be forever changed because you will be expanding your consciousness, quantum flipping your mindset. And at the end of the day, you have that constant uh, force, that primal force of Cha Dao to hold you. Because once you know that you're being protected, that you're being carried, that you're being um, cared for all the time by this bigger energy, this greater energy that's always for us, um, you would you would know you would just know and there is that intuitive heat that you get you would know how to align your mind with your body and your spirit um and that is a like an incredible and uh, knowing that's an incredible thing to know how to grasp so once you grasp that you will be absolutely connected you will know what's right for you what's not for you and most importantly you'll get the courage you'll get the courage to take the leap And lots of times we have to move in faith because life is a perpetual tapestry of unknown. You know, that is the truth. That is the real truth. Every day I I sit in ceremony and I acknowledge that truth, I bow to that truth. We all are faced with the unknown every single day. So my question to you is, how do you want to live another day? Do you want to live another day feeling like, I wish I had done that. 
Or do you want to live another day feeling like, yes, I did my best today and I'm going to do it again tomorrow to do what I really love, to serve the greater world. And this goes out so much more to the collective consciousness because if you start doing this for yourself, you will rise. I promise you this, you will rise and you will have more to give back to the world. That is how we can keep creating and co-create a beautiful world. Because I know with so much stuff that's happening in the world right now, we wish we could contribute more. Um, if we, we feel saddened by what we're seeing, the only way we can go forward is to rise. And to rise in order to give back to the greater good, we have to have what we need first. Okay, so standing in our authenticity and feeling like we belong is really key to understanding that when we move through the phases, which is, you know, inspiration, the void and creation, we are integrating our entirety. You know, we are really being here serving in the, the highest way possible. You know, that is so important for all of us to know, because, you know, a lot of times we're either too much here or we're too much down here. Right. So we need to understand that once we are able to connect the mind and allow the soul to really speak to the body and let the body speak to the mind so that the mind can serve the soul. That's when transformation happens. And I can't, you know, I can't tell you enough how incredible the transformation happens. This work has helped many, many people, you know, including my clients who are in disordered eating. Um, so tomorrow when we move into mastermind, it really is just to serve anyone who feels like they're made for more than this. They're made for a life that's more than just going to a 95 job and just living a life that you know a with a belief that you're not meant to work in something that you love you know i have so many friends who think that their 9 to 5 job is meant to be something they would hate which is absolutely not true and i really really feel that in this expanding consciousness that we're in more and more people are getting out of it more and more people realize that it is time it is time for us to take our stand it is time for us to take our stand for ourselves because if we keep abandoning ourselves if we keep abandoning our own dreams then you know the truth is no one is going to take a stand for us you know we might meet some good samaritans some people who really really support us but at the end of the day if you can articulate your own dreams your own desires and you just keep feeling like you need to keep control of all the things around you it's, and make it so hard for you like you if you believe that you need to struggle to get something you want then you're gonna keep struggling you're never gonna find that grace and ease that is meant for you okay so i really want you to understand that because you know our beliefs are the only things that are shackling us our beliefs are the only things that are limiting us from what we really want to create in our lives so besides really just inviting you to to journal and think about what you really want it's all about embodying you know embodying the vibrational frequency of exactly the life that you want to have you know that is how you raise your vibrational frequency that's how we quantum leap because hey you know the old belief is we need to work hard, we need to go step by step to get what we want. But when there is a possibility of a quantum leap, why not take that, right? Why not take that? So that is a real quantum shift in the mindset world. And once you shift that, it changes everything. If you haven't heard of my story, there is a post that I, I just um, I wrote maybe late last week um, that you could read. Um, but absolutely everything changed for me and I can't thank the, the, the way of tea for how it has guided me through the last year in every single way. And now I'm just so excited to be able to, trans to, to allow this transmission through in this beautiful immersion program called The Void and um, early bird prizes are going to to start to well it's actually up already so you can register anytime there's a payment plan um, and also if you want to register please take action soon because the early bird price closes it will end after tomorrow 
tomorrow evening UK time. So, oh, beautiful Bella Bodai. Oh, thank you. I hope I, I, I have never really asked you what your real name is. Please let me know. Thank you. I really didn't know what I was going to say, to be honest, when I came on here. <laughs> um, but um, I really felt the need to share because I'm just so done with seeing people feeling like they don't deserve the life they need to, they, they've been dreaming of for so many years, or people that feel like they can only have half, half of what they wish they could, you know. Oh, yes, Leslie, of course, of course. Lovely, lovely. Mwah! So good to have you here. So yes, my loves, you know, when we, when we are able, when we have that center of stillness in us, when we cultivate that center in stillness, you know for sure every single day when you come out to the world and you start taking actions, your actions are taken from that center of stillness. And that is the magic juice. That is the power. It's so powerful because you begin to be able to feel in your body, wait a minute, like this person is not telling me the truth. There's something here that's not feeling good. And also, and also have the courage to say, no, this doesn't feel right for me. I'm not going to please someone and do this. Or, you know, those things that we always do in our lives that never really served us. You know, you know what I'm talking about. I'm sure you know this. Um, so yes, all of these things we're gonna we're going to explore tomorrow in the free 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 mastermind. If you want to join us, you're very very welcome to. Please, the only thing I wish to um, to include is that it's going to be very heart centered. So if you're not prepared to turn on your camera, if you're not prepared to share, then it would probably be a waste of time for you to be honest. So um, if you if you're called to join us please just DM me, it's only by invite. Everyone is welcome, of course, but I didn't put it up as like a link or anything because I really wanted to speak to that person and really feel into the genuine uh, energy of that person before we have that in the group as well. So that's happening UK time tomorrow, 8 p.m. Um, what else? So uh, yes, one more time just to say, if you want to join The Void, it's an eight-week immersion program that's starting October. Early bird price will end after Wednesday. So um, that would mean Thursday morning, basically. That's the end cutoff date. And then after that, there won't be any early bird prizes anymore. But there is still a payment plan, so you'll be so welcome to join. Um, absolutely, would love to have you. Everything. <sighs> Everything that we want is there for us, you know, um, but if you have a community of people who have been there, you know, like how babies start to learn to walk and why they keep trying, you know why? <laughs> That's because they see you doing it and they know that it's possible. So they're in the same vein, you know, when you have a community, when you've seen people do it, you know that it is possible and you get all the support from these people who have done it. Who are going through it and it's just incredible and of course at every step of the way i'll be there to guide you you know we will be using so many beautiful alchemical healing um you know m modules and all the beautiful way uh, of connecting with tea absolutely that is where my 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 magic juice is um, but most importantly we want to tap into your inner world your inner unconscious through all the beautiful things that um, alchemists have used, you know, going in through the darkness of your soul, going through with the mythology, going through with archetypes, going through with meditation, with plant medicine, going through with your own medicine, you know, energy medicine, breath work, um, oh, the seven step system that I'm going to use as well called the energy codes. All of these things, uh, it's just nothing you can find anywhere, you know, that is really, really just authentically me. That's why it's authentic. That's why it's special. And you will learn to come out feeling like your authentic self. Lives will be changed because you have changed. You have cultivated the courage and the trust to move in faith. That is what I wish for you to take away from nothing else. Because you can quantum shift in just one day. It doesn't take eight, eight weeks for you to graduate. That is an old way of thinking. What I really want you to really think about is just, I just invite you to think about once you commit, things will shift immediately. And so that is 
so that is so that is and it is done it is done um all right my love i will leave it here again if you wish to join the mastermind it's absolutely free tomorrow at 8 p.m uk time all right my love i send you so much love and speak soon bye